Hello and welcome to another M3 production. My name is Mr. Gomez and I'm going to go over with you today on how to narrate your video. So you may have a lot of video clips, whether they're still images or actual video footage that you may want to use. I'm going to go ahead and just select the videos that I have in my media and I'm going to drag them down into my track right next to video number one. So I have two video clips here that I've brought down. Now, I don't want the audio to show up in my videos because I'm going to be narrating. A couple of ways you can double check is click on the little speaker for the audio options and I click on it and it tells me that I have 100% volume. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide that down to zero because I don't want any audio to show up because, I'm, again, I'm going to be speaking. So I'll do the same thing. Click on this one and lower it all the way down to zero. Now that I have my video clips with no audio, I can then come up to where it says narrate. So you'll see that I have the import from the cloud, the record button, and the narrate. Again, if you hover your mouse over, it'll let you see what it does. So this says, open the voice recorder, the recording is placed in the current location of the playhead. So if you notice, down under an audio, I have nothing yet. So I'm going to start at the very beginning of my clip. I'm going to slide it over, and I'm going to go ahead and click on narrate. It's going to tell me to get close to the microphone and click record when I'm ready. So I'm going to go ahead and click record. Hello and welcome to Parkdale High School, located in Riverdale, Maryland. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of our school. We're going to start off by coming in through the front entrance, the front main entrance. And then I hit stop. I can preview what I said. Hello and welcome to Parkdale High School, located in Riverdale, Maryland. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of our school. If I like, if I like it, I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue button here to save it. And then we're going to look back at our tracks. And you're going to notice that down below, I have something called voiceover. It added a new category. So with my voiceover, when I play the video, we should hear me speaking. Hello and welcome to Parkdale High School, located in Riverdale, Maryland. Today, I'm going to... Now, if you make mistakes, there's no problem with that because we can go ahead and edit our video clip. So let's say I made a mistake here all I would really have to do is click where I made that mistake, click on my scissors to cut out that piece. So let's say it was just a small piece here, and I would click on the next piece, and I would click on my scissors, and I can just click on the delete button, and it'll get rid of that portion of it. And I can go ahead and drag these back together and close that gap so that it's a smooth uh, transition. Again, you can place several still photos together, or video with uh, movement in it and just narrate us through the whole process. When you're done with your project, you're going to click on the finish button in the upper right hand corner. And what it's going to do is going to ask you for a title of your export. And I'm going to just give it a title and then I would hit set. It's going to ask me how I want it. Do I want standard definition or high definition? I generally go with high definition because I want a nice, clear, crisp video. It just takes a little bit longer to get processed, but it will still uh, do very well. It will automatically download into your WeVideo account. If you click on the Google Drive icon, it will also automatically download into Google Drive for you. And when it's done downloading, you will also have the option to download it directly onto your computer. 
You will also see over on the left that you can choose thumbnails uh, that the video has selected for you to pursue. When you're done selecting all of your options, you're going to simply click on export and your video may take just a few moments to process and you have a production. Until next time, take care.